So just really look in the little mirror there. Uh, yeah. Yeah. All right. So tell us who you are. Tell us what you're doing. What's it for? This is for our clients, for our investors. Oh, really? Yeah. yeah, okay. yeah. okay. Um, hi, everyone. My name is Brian McKenna. Um, I'm co-founder of Zeco Labs, which is a ZK-based ZK application platform. So not just ZK for scaling. It is a ZK rollup, full ZK rollup. But the different thing about Zeco is that you can build applications with ZK. And what that means is these applications um, can achieve privacy and they can achieve off-chain scaling so they're not bound by the gas cost and the busyness on the network at the time. And not only that, you can launch your own ZK app chain um, with your own token, your own custom logic, your own everything, whether that be for your, your game, your decks, whatever um, application specific chain you want. So yeah, that's that's Zeko in a nutshell. My background is eight years in crypto, four years on the Cardano project, three years at Mina Protocol as head of product, and now co-founder Zeko. And a um, huge belief in ZK, and a huge belief in, like we all know about the scaling part, right? This is what everybody's so familiar with. But the next thing is the application part. And I feel like we're, like we're reaching a threshold of the novelty of decentralized applications that are available today and the new things coming out. And I really think ZK is going to change that because it's not just like privacy for um, defense, it's, also all, it's privacy for attack as well, right? It's like, what what can I prove about myself to unlock things in the, in my digital world to like give myself um, credibility, advantage, clout, um, anything that like, I can prove about my about my life, right? Whether that just be simply that like I'm an Irish passport holder and I'm over 18, or I've got like a thousand Bitcoin, therefore you know like I get into this cool club, um, or credit bureaus so that I don't have to take a over collateralized loan, um, or that I do like 20k a month on, as an Amazon seller, or that like you know I I made X amount on my Binance account and we can pull like via these things called ZK oracles, we can pull, we can make ZK statements about data about your Web2 session that you're logged into, right? So like you pull your Binance trading history for the last month and you, you prove just for cloud on Twitter that your, your position's over 200%, right? But you don't reveal your balance or what your trades are. And it's verified. Exactly. Yeah. So full believer, I think we're going to make this happen, ZK apps after ZK scaling, that, that's it. Okay. But some, someone could have like three dollars and double it. So, like you're saying you made 200% but you could have three dollars or you could have 10 million. Oh, Nothing. so you, you can add an additional layer of proof, right? right? To say that like, you know, like my, my position size was... Like you, you, you can show your profit balance yeah. without revealing what your, your total positions were, right? Yeah, it's, yeah. It's, it's however you want to, to prove it, you know? Yeah, yeah. 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 Very cool. Whatever makes it an interesting app, you know. Yeah, I'd say like I, I run a marathon on the weekend or you know, did an Iron Man, you can prove that. I, exactly. So like Is that gonna give me extra clout? I think it will and it might make you money too, right? Yeah. So you, you, you bond on chain with all the all your friends who say you're not gonna do it or who didn't say they're gonna do it at a better time. Yeah. And you you, you send a proof from your wearable that's on your phone and you, you prove to them that you did it and you get paid, right? That's that's the yeah. So it can be clout or money. Yeah, and, yeah. and trading competitions obviously. Yeah, yeah exactly, yeah. yeah. Even private private betting markets, you know, like poly markets taken off, but the ability to not reveal who you are because you know like I'm sure there's people who are who've got like um, who probably don't want to bet, right? Because yeah. it's also public, you know. Mm, yeah. Mm. Yeah. yeah. Interesting. Yeah. So where where are we going to be able to buy this coin? Uh, TBD. Um, where the, the first thing is to launch mainnet. So our testnet is up now. People can deploy apps. Our Discord is open. And we have 10k people in there. Um, and we're pushing towards mainnet, so that, so that people can actually get their apps products out, and with their own decks and tradable tokens, etc. And yeah, the TG will come like shortly after that, I would say. So the exchanges TBD. Okay.
Okay. Yeah. So probably decentralised exchanges? Uh, no, nope, not nope, centralised exchanges. Centralized exchanges. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And there, we'll have our own decentralised exchange and um, native as well. You got, a, you got a ticket code we can look for? Uh, we don't have a ticket code yet. Ticket code yet. Okay, so tell us the name again. Zeko. Z-E-K-O. So probably Z-E-K, let's see. Um, another thing which is really important is that um, like Mina, like the whole state of Zeko can be rolled up into single zero knowledge proof, right? This is really good for interoperability and bridging. So if something happens on Zeko, so you've, you've run your marathon, you, but, but your friends are on Ethereum, right? Yeah. That's where they want to bet because they all met a mask. All of the state can be shipped to Ethereum so that you, you might not even have to like interact with the Zeko wallet or whatever, right? You can um, just we're building apps like that too. Wow. Yeah. Like one particular app, it's a gaming app on it's on Arbitrum. The the user for all intents and purposes is entering the game through MetaMask. You know, they, they play the game. But they're playing the game locally via a Zeko app chain. Yeah. And it's using all the ZK magic to um, create proofs of the gameplay off chain. And the proof of the gameplay is then shipped back to Ethereum, or oh, sorry, Arbitrum. And um, you know the game like results are updated there. Yeah. Unreal. Yeah. So zero knowledge, interoperable, what can it do? Good question. We don't know yet. <laughs> yeah. We don't know what it can do. <laughs> But when you find out, you'll plug that hole, right? Exactly, exactly. And the, the, the most exciting thing for me is the, is the basically open territory when it comes to application development, right? When the EVM came out, you know, people were like, well, well, well what are we going to build with this? Like, well, well, we don't know, we think, we think maybe this, this and this. Yeah. But you know, like, like, there's all sorts of cool stuff on EVM now, and it's the same with ZK applications, I believe, you know? Yeah. Except I think it'll move faster because there's so many more developers around now, there's so much more liquidity, there's, the industry is so bigger, yeah. um, that I, I think it'll, it'll move faster. Yeah. I mean, it's an interesting question, like, like, what can you build with Lego? I mean, what can exactly. you build? Right? Exactly, <laughs> exactly, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Very cool, yeah. thank you. Epic, thank you. Cheers. Great. All right. I was